Hi everyone, Gail Casper here. Not everybody can find the time to hit the gym for workouts five days a week. So today it's all about fitting in a 10 minute workout. That's right. The busyness of life doesn't have to get in the way of keeping fit. By following these simple steps, you can do a 10 minute effective workout no matter how busy you are. We all have time for 10 minutes, don't we? Number one, plan it. It doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes or an hour. You and I both know you have to plan your time. And if you can't exercise every day, shoot for two rounds of 10 minutes every other day, one in the morning and one at night. The question is, how are you gonna fit in those 10 minute workouts? You've gotta mark it down or it's not gonna happen. Number two, bring back the classics. Maybe you're uncertain what to do in the 10 minute time frame. I understand. You have enough to think about, but don't make it more complicated than it has to be. You can do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, squats with weights. Yep, keep those weights handy. One way to increase your metabolism, especially when you're working out for a short time, is through muscle building opportunities. Things like mountain climbers, bicep curls, bent over rows. If we look at push-ups alone, they're great for the upper body and are a tremendous muscle producing exercise, which means they improve bone mass and increase your metabolic rate. Do the things that have stood the test of time. They're effective. Number three, push yourself. Again, it's 10 minutes. Make the most of that time. Working out with intensity is an important aspect of any fitness routine. You can do it. Of course, intensity is different for everyone, but keep in mind that the intensity of your workout correlates directly to your heart rate, and when your heart rate goes up, your metabolism goes with it. And you'll know when your heart rate is up, you'll be sweating and breathing faster. This 10 minute workout is a great opportunity for you to do high intensity training. Here's the formula. Do about 45 seconds of cardio with a 15 second low impact exercise. For example, you might do 45 seconds of high knees with 15 seconds of walking in place or a slow jog and then repeat this nine to 10 times. There's your 10 minutes folks, done. Another option might be to start off with 45 seconds of push-ups, 15 seconds of walking and then do 45 seconds of mountain climbers with 15 seconds of walking. So you're alternating the push-ups with the mountain climbers. Cap the whole process off with 60 seconds of sit-ups or crunches. You're gonna feel it, trust me. Of course, I always encourage you to talk to your doctor before any rigorous exercise routine. And if it gets to be too much, if you get breathless, dizzy, or nauseous, take a break. So there you have it. No time to work out? Then you've got to fit in your 10 minutes. Number one, plan it. Number two, bring back the classics. And number three, push yourself. That's it for today. If you have a comment or a question you'd like us to answer, please send a note to steadyhealth.com. And don't forget to check out my Gail Casper Fitness YouTube page. Just click the link in the video description. Have a great week, everybody. See you soon.